Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over the eFiler and the update to the user interface. What the eFiler does is allow you to eFile forms directly into sites like the Department of State, the USCIS, Department of Labor, or other. Now, in order to use the eFiler, you must be signed up to the eFiling optional module. You must also have a PC computer, as the eFiler is a PC application. If using a Mac, you would need to use a third-party solution such as Amazon Workspaces, which allows you to use a PC desktop remotely on a Mac computer. Let us log into our caseworker portal. The first thing we want to do is download our eFiler. If hovering over the tool section on the left, you will see eFiling. Click on it. You are now in the area to download the eFiler. On this page, you will see some prerequisites you might need to download if using an older computer. You will focus on the link at the bottom that says Launch and click on it, downloading the eFiler to your computer. Once downloaded, install it onto your computer. Once installed, you will see a new app on your computer titled Serenade ECMS eFiler. We will come back to this. Let us go back into the caseworker portal and find a form to eFile. Going back to the home page, let us search for a case. Once inside the case, go to the form section. Locate a form you wish to e-file such as the DS-160. Let us go inside the form. Once you have added your info on the form, let us click on save and exit the form. Now that we have a form to e-file, the first thing we want to do is click on the lock button so that no one can change information on the form. Once doing so, you will see on the right an e-filing column where the status is ready and a clickable link to schedule. If we want to send this to our e-filer, we will click on Schedule, and in doing so, it now changes the status as scheduled. In certain forms from the USCIS, you will see a pop-up in which you need to address additional questions to e-file properly. On the description of this video is another video that goes over this. However, with DS Forms, we will simply click on Schedule, and we have now sent this to our e-filer application. If you do not have our e-filing application open, Locate it on your computer and open it. You will first be asked to enter your website name. This is a distinct URL given to your account. This information can be found in the area where we downloaded our eFiler. You will see it there. Copy it and paste it onto the eFiler. You can click on the Remember Me checkbox so that it automatically appears next time. We will click on Login. We will then be asked to enter our caseworker portal credentials. Proceed to enter them and click on Login. You are now logged into the eFiler and will notice all the scheduled forms to the left. This list can be resized by clicking on the right and dragging it to a size you prefer. You can also narrow down listings by case number or form. You will find filter buttons where you can narrow down by selections or search specific entries. If wanting to eFile one of the scheduled forms on the list, click on it and the screen on the right will take you into its respective site either the Department of State, the USCIS, or other. You will proceed with entering CAPTCHAs, login information if it applies, and once inside the form, you will notice the Populate Data button will appear. When clicked, the information you had on the form on e-immigration will transfer into the form online. You will go page by page, clicking on Populate Data until finished. You will see that the scheduled forms will always remain on the left. When clicking on one of the forms, it will take you to eFile that form. If you unintentionally click on another form to eFile, you will get a warning letting you know that you are switching forms and any unsaved information will be lost. You can then decide if you don't wish to change forms and remain in the form you are eFiling, or indeed move on to another form to eFile. Once you have finished eFiling a form, you will go to the tab listed as Mark as Complete. You will be asked to enter a reference number, which is open to anything you would like to enter, and once you click on Mark as Complete, it will remove the form from the scheduled list, and the next time you go into the form in the case profile, you will see the status has been changed to Complete, and the reference number will be listed. This concludes our video on eFiling. 